Out of the destruction from Haiti's earthquake in 2010 came an international commitment to help the country rebuild more safely. Two weeks after the massive tremor, specialists assessed the damage using aerial imagery. Those images and follow-up evaluations on the ground produced these nationwide multi-hazard maps for reconstruction. Alors là, on peut retrouver euh, les maisons jaunes, vert, rouge qui ont été évaluées, évaluées par la Banque mondiale au début, euh, juste après le séisme. On retrouve le nombre de maisons impactées par justement ces ravines, et nous avons pu aussi récupérer, par exemple, la liste des canaux existants et pouvoir voir tout ce qui concerne l'écoulement des eaux et les risques liés à ces écoulements des eaux avec les maisons que nous avons sur le côté. The detailed maps provide Haiti and international donors information on what has been damaged in the country and where. They also designate areas where no one should build in the future due to frequent flooding, hurricanes and landslides. This multi-hazard assessment is part of Haiti's larger disaster risk management activities, funded by the World Bank and the Global Facility for Disaster Reduction and Recovery. The activities have included the training of hundreds of engineers to evaluate more than 400,000 buildings and homes in 90% of areas most affected by the massive earthquake that struck Haiti two years ago. A mis au point un bureau technique d'évaluation de bâtiments. Donc ce bureau-là a pour mission, dans un premier temps, d'évaluer la sécurité des bâtiments. Working with donors, Haiti's government has collected all its findings on damage and disaster risk in one national database. This database and new national guidelines on safe rebuilding practices are now being used by development organizations in deciding where and how to build or rebuild schools, hospitals and homes. In similar disaster risk efforts, the World Bank is helping civil protection committees throughout Haiti determine who is at risk in the event of any future disasters. In case of disaster, the alert passes well puisque ces gens sont bien formés pour pouvoir transmettre l'information à la population. Et donc les réseaux sont établis à travers ces comités. Et nous savons que lorsque l'alerte est bien lancée, nous avons une réduction du nombre de, 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 de fatalités. In the flood-prone district of Tabar and Port-au-Prince, a civil protection committee is out on an exercise. The volunteers warn neighborhood residents to take only important documents and seek shelter at the local municipality in the event of major rains. It has helped to reduce the impact on the population that is in the zones of risk, and reduce also the impact of the of the community. Good data on risks, say the protection committees, is sure to save lives ahead.